Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland. Um, just quickly before we start, um, I recently lost my Instagram account, so if you did used to follow me, I have a new handle which is at Nikki Claire Creates. Um, so yeah, hop on over there and uh, follow me again to see the rest of my creations. Um, okay, so today I'm doing a layout for Hip Kit Club and it is using the March kits. Um, today is um, a mood board inspired um, layout and I have used this beautiful, beautiful April mood board um, designed by um, Amanda Baldwin. Um, I have really gone for the blues um, in the colour scheme, um, so it was full of fresh, really fresh spring colours, really pretty um, pastels. Um, so I picked out um, the blue tones and I was going for kind of like blues and greens and pinks, really cool colours. Um, and um, I was just working out what I was going to do here. Um, I was thinking what large area could I do. Um, so I tried out this design here um, and then um, I realised um, that there were triangles um, on the mood board. <laughs> um, so in the end I just got rid of all of this uh, this idea and started cutting triangles. I don't know why this hadn't dawned on me beforehand um, but uh, for some reason it hadn't um, and uh, as soon as I saw them on the mood board I was like oh that's what I can do what was I thinking um, yeah so it, it became triangles so I say still at the moment just experimenting with some different ideas of what I'm going to do with my cardstock because I really wanted that beautiful blue Heidi Swap art wallpaper um, to be on display but um, it's a bit busy um, for me to just put my photos directly onto so I thought I needed some areas of white space um, so that's how um, I came, I, that's why I had some bits of white going on there um, and um, I just thought that I would um, try and put in a large area but I say the triangles worked absolutely brilliantly and I really absolutely love how this layout turned out um, it's a bit different to what I would normally do, um, but the triangles were a real huge inspiration. And as soon as I realised um, triangles, I was really good to go. And this layout came together really, really quickly. Okay, so um, I had, you saw I had that square of white mounted on blue. Um, I just stuck the two together and then cut them in half so I had two large triangles. And then I've trimmed some down so I have smaller ones. Um, and then I have even smaller ones too. Now some of them at the moment aren't mounted quite right and they're not stuck together. I'm just kind of figuring out my layout and what um, I want it to look like. Um, as soon as um, I'm happy with how um, things are looking um, then I will um, uh, stick everything down and get the mounting of everything um, exactly right. Um, so because at the moment um, things aren't mounted and I want my triangles to all have um, borders going all the way around. So as I say I'm just um, working that out right now. I'm just stressing the edges of everything and um, both the white and the um, blue as well. Um, so just need to make sure that I've done that with all of them <laughs> and um, and yeah. Um, my plan is to um, add some stitching around each of the triangles. Um, so I am still uh, messing around, kind of get these triangles right. So I had quite, a, I'd already cut them kind of as squares, and then I cut the squares in half diagonally. Um, so therefore, some of my triangles didn't have edges on the long side. Um, so I say I'm just uh, sorting that out right now and distressing them and sticking them together. Um, and then I will go off uh, to do some sewing on the sewing machine. Um, so um, I wanted to sew my uh, triangles directly onto my layout. That would have been um, the best thing to do. However, um, I've got marshmallow cardstock as my white and then I've got a basil blue behind it um, and then the pattern paper as well. So that's quite a lot of layers. I'm just a bit worried. It, my sewing machine probably would have been able to handle that or definitely could have handled that. Um, but then what I was worried about was where the triangles were going to overlap here and I didn't want to be going through two lots of marshmallow, two lots of blue and the pa pattern paper as well. So um, I did some of them without uh, sticking. So I did some of them, I outlined them and then I stuck them down. Um, so I did the stitching and then I st stuck them in place. Uh, you'll see in a minute I um, I 
show you in a moment once I have done all of my um, stitching. Um, so that at the top there is a journaling card. So I'd already used quite a bit of that journaling card already on something else and um, I just wanted to um, use that as well. Was the nice purple was was perfect. Um, there we go, I've just done my stitching <clears throat> and I'm just, there's a few triangles that have been done independently and then I realised that that one I missed. <laughs> so I had to go back and do that again um, and, um, and then turn the camera back on again because my sewing machine isn't right next to my... Um, my camera. Um, so they're all sewn now and they're all st being stuck in position so some of them are already um, sewn to the layouts and some I'm just sticking in place. Um, I really like this scallop edge on one of the journaling cards so I thought I'd spend a moment trimming that out and using that to border my photos. So particularly um, I loved the pinky tones in the mood board. Um, they were the, the whole pastel colour scheme really really appealed to me. That little bit of purple at the top that appears on the mood board and of course that pink from the scallops that appears on the mood board too. And I've pulled out some <clears throat> light green bits as well to use too um, because again um, I just really love these pastel colours and I've chosen blue to be my um, main focus um, but um, yeah, it wasn't a predominant colour on the mood board, but um, I just really loved that artwork paper and I wanted to use it, so that's what I did. Um, so I'm just going through my um, journaling cards, my ephemera and everything else that I've got in this kit to work out what bits and pieces will work with this colour scheme that I've got going on. Um, I just pulled out a couple of circles um, in green and tucked those behind my clusters um, and then that's a flower just gone in there. Um, and um, a few other bits and pieces um, and I'm purely looking at colour at this point um, none of the things that are on the um, ephemera are showing so for example the circle at the bottom of my um, left photo um, says something about llamas <laughs> you're amazing I think it said um, and that <clears throat> didn't work well it, it could have potentially worked but it's more of a birthday thing um, and um, I didn't want to use that on this layout, I wanted it to um, just be a layer so I've stuck it behind um, and then I've just mounted that photo on the right um, onto a piece of black and white um, paper and um, that's a Jen Hadfield uh, Pebbles Hey Hello paper um, that I had some left of um, so I have uh, mounted my photo on there just to make it kind of pop. I printed my photos in black and white for this layout <clears throat> just because sometimes I feel that with cool colour tones, the the coolness of a black and white photo um, works really well. Um, so that was uh, my thinking behind printing these photos in um, black and white. Um, then I found this um, black and white strip that was a manufacturing strip I believe um, and I've put that, um, just trimmed it down a bit and put that behind my photo um, on the left as a um, another layer. Um, so I'm just um, getting everything kind of stuck in place at this point. I'm pretty happy with the bare bones of the layout and how it's all looking. Um, and I'm just um, spending a bit of time getting it sorted, sticking everything in place, arranging things, making decisions and getting it stuck down. So moving on to my title, um, I've decided that I'm going to um, journal about a story of my little boy um, and I'm going to call this layout Fresh Start. Now um, it just so happened that the Fresh Start title was perfect to go with these colours <laughs> um, but that's not actually what prompted the story. Um, this, my boy um, is a complicated being, um, he is a tricky character um, and we've had many years of uh, very challenging behaviour. Well, I don't want to speak too soon but since Christmas um, we seem to have turned a corner and it's been going for quite some time now. He still has the odd day um, but he's actually really calmed down and is much more reasonable and thankfully home life is much happier. Um, than what it was before so um, I'm really happy that he seems to have turned this corner so I'm going to journal about that story and how I'm so happy with his behavior at the moment um, 
and that's why Fresh Start works um, really well for this story. Um, so I've there was some um, alphabets on the mood board and I decided to just have some tumbling alphabet stickers um, to the right and the um, left of my photos um, and um, I've literally pulled out, I don't like wasting letter stickers, however we all end up with thickers that are oh, got loads left and you can't make any words. Um, so I pulled out the least used letters, uh, so W, X, V, Z, Qs, um, but I also pulled out a couple of Ps and Gs as well, although they are much more popular of course. Um, but um, I just thought I would, um, I didn't just want Xs, Ys and Zs because that would look more obvious so I wanted a bit of a mixture so I pulled out there's a W in there as well I think maybe and um, I say the P and the G um, so just use those. Um, so now I've got turned to that Paige Evans paper with lots of strips on it uh, from Bloom Street and I've pulled out a few, snipped out a few that have got sentiments that work um, for this layout and this story um, and I have trimmed them down a bit because they're a bit thick and I have distressed the edges and I'm just going to add those um, to my layout. So I've got uh, one of a kind, um, and then I've also got my happy places with you, and daydreamer, and make a wish, and be happy. So all of those um, things work quite well. Some of them are very generic, but um, they all work perfectly well with this story. Um, there's also a few Jen Hadfield um, little phrases in the kind of minty green. Um, they are from the Hey Hello Ephemera, um, but um, they were there was like several strips of them, um, and I just pulled out the two that worked for me, which was You've Got This and You're the Greatest. So I've just put those in as well, and I'm just kind of arranging those um, to to um, with the clusters and also a little cluster at the top above my photo on the left as well under my title. I wanted to kind of link my title um, to my photo below it. Um, and I needed somehow to um, to do that. So putting those a uh, couple of phrase um, labels in that gap worked really, really well. Um, so just coming in now with some uh, gold, nope, silver twiddles. Um, just sticking those behind my photos. I'm using my uh, silver We Are Memory Keepers thread um, and uh, just making some little twiddles around my fingers and um, then sticking those under my photos. Um, so yeah, just getting those in place. I want one under each photo. Um, I thought about putting them on the outsides, but the letters were kind of in the way, so I've done those both coming out of the insides, um, pointing towards the points, effectively. Um, so okay, I'm going to do my journaling now, and like I said, I've got quite a lot to write because um, I'm writing about um, a change in personality, really. Um, so uh, I've written, done myself, um, and also it's on a... Um, a very white space there um, and I just wanted to make sure that it didn't look really messy so I have done that um, with um, a ruler and I'm uh, writing in my journaling um, and then at this point um, I ran out of lines so I'm going to just add a few more um, I don't know how many more I'm going to need at this point so I just do a few and then write my journaling in and then add a few more where I need to uh, so I go quite far down um, with my um, journaling um, and I leave one line um, free um, I think because I wanted to add the date and I don't know the date because my photos are on my camera my phone which I'm filming with <laughs> so I normally try and leave a gap for the date and fill it in as soon as I um, stop filming um, okay so really nearly done at this point um, I'm just adding some black drops of Indian ink I just felt that it could do with a few pops of black um, so um, and then I'm gonna wick wick up the um, the excess with a tissue um, just so that um, it doesn't bleed into the paper so much um, because it goes right the way through the layout can you see it there um, okay that's me done um, so I really really enjoyed working with the mood board this month it was great fun I love my layout I'm so happy with it um, so please do um, join in um, there'll be um, a mood board challenge at some point this month as well um, okay um, don't forget that if you subscribe to hip kit club you get a number of perks so you get the main kit out of reduced price a 15% discount on all add-on kits and exclusive cut files too thank you so much for joining me today that was Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club <laughs>